In the previous lecture, we have seen latency and its various components. We also know that latency is also called as delay. In today's lecture, we will see a Java applet simulation. Let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to understand the transmission and propagation delay practically. In the previous lecture, we have seen the delays and its components theoretically. In today's lecture, we will see transmission delay and propagation delay practically. Let's revisit what are the various components of delay. Basically, delay is made up of four components. The transmission delay, the propagation delay, queuing delay, and finally the processing delay. And the overall delay, that is the latency is equal to transmission delay plus propagation delay plus queuing delay plus processing delay. Let's see what is transmission delay in brief. Transmission delay means it is the time it takes to place the complete data packet on the transmission medium. Suppose if we have a data packet, how much time it takes for that host computer to place that data packet on the transmission medium is called as the transmission delay. And the formula for doing this is transmission time or transmission delay is equal to message size divided by bandwidth. If we have a better bandwidth, then the transmission time will be small. If the message size is big, the transmission time will be high. We are done with transmission delay. Now we will have a small recapture over propagation delay. Propagation delay means it is the time it takes for a bit to go from one device to another device. That is, if device A wants to send a data packet to device B, how much time it takes for a single bit to travel from device A to device B is the propagation delay. And propagation time or the propagation delay is calculated by dividing the distance by the propagation speed. If the distance is high, the propagation time or the propagation delay will also be high. If we have a good speed, that is the propagation speed is high, we will have a smaller propagation delay. We are done with transmission delay and propagation delay. Let's now see a Java applet simulation which is available in the internet. I am searching for propagation delay and transmission delay related Java applets. And I am visiting the first website that is cc-labs.org. When we just click on this, we will get the Java applet animation. We can set the length of the transmission medium. So here this is the transmission medium. I am increasing the length of the transmission medium to be 1000 kilometers. And this is the data rate path where we can adjust or set the data rate. Here I am setting 500 kilobits per second. The propagation speed is given here. We can reduce or increase accordingly. 2.7 into 10 power 8 meters per second. And we can also set the size of the message. Here the size, it can be 500 bytes or 100 bytes or 1 kilobytes. I am choosing 100 bytes. 100 bytes means 100 into 8 bits. It means 800 bits. So 800 bits is the size of the message. And this 800 bits is going to be placed on the transmission medium. This is the host computer. Let the name of the host computer be A. And let this be the receiver computer. Let the name of the receiver computer be B. Now when I click start, what happens? This 100 bytes, that is the size of the message. This is 100 bytes. This 100 bytes of information has to be placed on the transmission medium. And then this message have to travel 1000 kilometers. And finally it will be received by the receiver. In the previous lecture, I mentioned processing delay and queuing delay are not accounted or not taken into account for calculating the delays. We are mainly focusing on the transmission delay and the propagation delay. When I click start, this 100 bytes of information will be placed on the transmission medium. The time it takes in order to place that 100 bytes information on the transmission medium is the transmission delay. So, the transmission delay is, it is placing, now if you watch, it is placing the entire 100 bytes of information on the transmission medium. Once the 100 bytes are placed, now the propagation delay part is carried out. If you observe, the propagation delay part is being carried out now. And finally, this 100 bytes of information is received by the receiver. And this receiver processes the 100 bytes of information and hands over the process or hands over the message to the right process. So this is what the propagation delay and the transmission delay. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the propagation delay and transmission delay practically. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.